Someone asked me which were my favorite handbags from my entire collection. Instead of me just choosing a few handbags or all of them to be honest, I'm gonna tell you in this video which are my favorite crossbody handbags from my collection. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making stylish and savvy decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video is the first of my entire series where I choose handbags from my collection depending on their category. I've decided that the Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessoire is my number one crossbody bag. Not only is this bag so surprising this year, it's wonderful, it's so easy, it's carefree. You can sort of wipe down a leather bag to a certain extent, but I much prefer wiping down a canvas which is coated. This strap is extremely comfortable to wear and once you have it on, you don't really have to take it out. The bag is pretty small, it can sit on your lap. That is especially handy if you ever have to get in or out of a car very frequently or just in and out of places or in and out of public transport it does not matter it's very very comfortable i do have two thorough review videos on this bag so definitely check it out i'll link it down below as well it might help you further make a decision if you're on the fence my second and third choice would have to be the chanel mini flaps i have both the square and the rectangle but i have to say that the square is definitely my favorite as technology advances things become smaller, our phones become compact little machines that serve multiple purposes, so really all we need other than our phone is our keys, our wallet. Aside from the fact that it's an iconic bag and that it's a Chanel bag, one of my favorite brands, it also accommodates enough for our everyday use. This chain is comfortable but it could dig in if your bag gets heavy so if you put a camera or just really compact really heavy things in it it can still weigh you down especially if you're traveling my fourth pick would be the valentino little rockstead crossbody bag this little crossbody bag comes with a beautiful strap which is adjustable and you can also hack it to make it into a little wristlet which makes it into a great nighttime bag mini bags for me are the trend of the future aside from the beautiful rock studs on this bag the other most important advantage of it is its price point. It really accommodates almost just as much as the Square Mini. The width of it is also very, very similar to the Square Mini and then as well as the depth of it. Again, I have a review video that's pretty thorough on this bag. I will link it down below so you can watch it if you're interested in this bag, but it's definitely one of my top crossbody bags. And it's also a very travel-friendly bag because of that reason. I'm sure you're noticing the trend right now that all my crossbody body bags are pretty small and this one is no exception so this is the Louis Vuitton twice bag it is unfortunately a discontinued style but it is widely available on the secondhand market and I do highly recommend it even though this bag looks very small and thin it actually fits a lot it's a great errands bag it's super comfortable it's classy it's underrated it's under the radar it has adjustable straps it's very comfortable the leather is very yummy and very very beautiful. I've had mine for quite a few years now and it's still wearing really well. I know a lot of you also picked up this bag after seeing my review so super glad that you are loving yours. I definitely think that this is an underrated bag also and the fact that they discontinued it which is like I said very unfortunate. I feel like you get a lot of value for what you pay for. I really feel like I have the best crossbody bags that are suited for my needs. They are a little bit on the smaller side. It may be different for you. Passing the question off to you, which one is your favorite crossbody bag from my collection and also from your collection? Let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. I would love to have you back and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.